You're in their car, you're at their job, God. You're in their uh, living room, whatever it is, God, the Holy Spirit, that nothing is separating them from your love in Jesus' name. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you will fall down mightily in this room right now. As our apostle and pastor preaches the word, let us receive her, God. Let us submit to her in the name of Jesus. Let us submit and surrender to the word that you're speaking through her in Jesus' name, God. I pray, God, you continue to teach us how to be unified. Continue to teach us how to humble ourselves before you in the name of Jesus. And Holy Spirit, may you fall down, God. So, God, we just thank you for an increased God with Tihab. We thank you, God, that you're taking us higher in the name of Jesus, God. Continue to teach us how to pray. Continue to teach us how to worship and yeah. give you the glory in yeah. the name of Jesus. Because yeah. your name deserves it, God. Your name deserves it. Let us lift up your yeah. name on high in the name of Jesus. Because you are Yahweh. You are the one true God. There's no other God like you, God. Every other God is an idol. In fact, the Bible says, Paul says, every other God is a demon. So God, tear down the idols in our lives, whether our idols is our relationship, whether our idols is money, God, whether it's the spirit of mammon, God, tear down every idol, every false God in our lives, and may you be put up back on the throne. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Amen. We're about to usher in the Holy Ghost on today by welcoming um, uh, the Trinity Experience uh, um, Evangelist Kai E to give us a good song. Please welcome Evangelist Kai E. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is praise and worship time. Yeah. Come on and stand to your feet. Give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Give God all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah. For he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. Come on.
So you can come in at this time if you're ready. is Dollar Sign Trinity House of Prayer. Again, that's Dollar Sign Trinity House of Prayer. And now you can come on up and give your offer if you're ready at this time. Makes no difference what you're going through. I'm gonna 
bless God at all times and um, for what he's about to do in this season we just thank God we thank God for what he's about to do he's doing something big and I'm just praying that everybody's ready for what he's about to do uh, in this upcoming season really um, um, we just um, well, while we wait on no um, also, can you come up? Um, we just uh, want to just give God the uh, the glory uh, on today. How many of us know that God's been good? He has been good. Y'all know that God has been good. Um, um, I have recently just um, got bumped up to a uh, manager position. Um, just, I just. I just got the text message and she just like, well, you know, we just gonna just go ahead and um, just bump you up. And so she made, she, she was like, you just work at this good. And I was like, oh, wow. So that's what I can say, God been really good. <laughs> but um, this is the season of the flow, y'all. No matter what's going on in our life, no matter the struggle, whatever, you know, you gotta still just put God first and everything. Um, um, but um, how many of us know God is good, y'all? He is really good, really, really good. Um, but hey, man, we're gonna welcome, we're gonna welcome Apostle Kim up. Amen, amen. 
Matter of fact, I'm do an introduction, if that's okay with you, Apostle Kim. Um, I do want to just say, like, um, that this woman of God here um, is very, um, you know, wonderful in my life, really. Um, her and uh, co pastor they both been really good. And I feel complete. I can actually say I, can, I feel so complete ever since I've uh, met. Um, God has, what well, God ordained <laughs> had happened, but I have really just learned a lot. I feel myself really growing, I'm getting the fast and everything down packed um, the right way. Um, but I do want to just say to you, um, Pastor Kel, thank you so much for all that you do. Um, for all those that don't believe in women past, you know, um, I do want to just say, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was number of women that had uh, got me to the right place right here. And um, when my doctor mom passed away, she reminded me a lot of my doctor mom. And I truly just thank God for all you do. And, and know your work is, your labor is not in vain. <laughs> it's not in vain. Just keep beating with the mic. I, I'm going to get it. <laughs> but hey, man, please receive a foster care work. He's a good son. I be on cue, don't I? I whoop that baby all the time. But that's all right, Q. I had plenty of people beat me. <laughs> plenty of people just getting me together for ministry. I, I mean, I really didn't have a clue that I would be pastor, and I didn't think I was good enough, worthy enough. Um, I ran for a long time, and even though all of the training Bishop was given all the places. Um, the, the, I kept going and preaching and come back and sit right under Bishop. I said, let the church run alone. I was okay with it. And it just kept going. I'll never forget when um, Evangelist Joyce had to leave the church because she had to go over to her husband's church and pastor for a while. And, and I was like, Ugh. I couldn't believe that I was like a shocker. Um, God has called her home, and that was a shocker. I never forget when she came over and preached at my birthday celebration, and um, she said, I'm looking at your, she said, trouble, tears, and I'm looking at your triumph yep. because of everything that we have went through. So, no, if I'm whooping on you, I love you. That's my way of saying I love you. I be fussing. I know they be like, I do not want to hear this today. She is in full, she got a full tank of gas in that car and it is burning slow. She done put premium in her mouth today. <laughs> oh my God, y'all got a new one? Oh my God, he said Jack Blue. Oh, that really burns slow because that going for a long, oh really? Oh, okay. Yep, I have no problem with, since we don't use premium anymore, and I'm now on the plane thing, and I use jet fuel, evidently. Who did this? Co-pastor? Oh, my God. So y'all don't be co-pastor tall. He said, I put jet fuel in my mind. Lord, have mercy. I thank God for jet fuel mind. It's getting Trinity House of Prayer, right? It's getting Trinity House of Prayer um, in order. Welcome to Trinity House of Prayer. Um, to all of those that's watching us by Facebook, we want to say that we love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. God is so, he's truly of a good God. And um, I'm excited today about how good God has been. I mean, if you just look back over what we started at, what we have begun at, and you look over the ministry today, I look at uh, so much has taken place and transpired, but I can just say we're still standing. We're still standing. Through everything, we're still standing and we're still here giving God the praise. And so, I don't know about nobody else, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Especially when you thought, I thought I couldn't do it. Remember when we first came into the building, I said, we're going to try it out. Well, we've been trying for five years now. I, <laughs> can try to say that but maybe we we in it to win it amen that's why uh, the conference is coming up I don't quit 
Um, I just have a couple of, of more announcements um, for the um, conference that's coming up. All of the ladies will be going on an outing um, for outfits and hairdos and stuff. Um, that just may bring it to my attention. We do that every year, all the women make sure that uh, our sisters are looking nice and presentable for our conference coming up. And then uh, the guys, uh, Elder Jenkins is in charge of that. Make sure all of the guys, you and Q, Q is your assistant on that. All the guys, you and Marquel, and all of y'all, y'all get together. Uh, we co-pastor. So I, I changed the leadership. Co-pastor is in charge of that. He's gonna take everybody, all of the men. Come on here, put your hands together. Co-pastor will be taking all the men out. Um, yeah, I guess they call it suited and booted. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what Elder Jenkins called it. Uh, men of valor. Yes. Young what? Young men of gallery. Oh, I like that too. I like the men of batter. Men of batter. Men of valor. I, you know, our men's gonna be together. Women, we want to see our men looking nice, amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you, Kai. Hallelujah. So uh, we want to see our men looking well. We want to see our our um, women looking um, girl and women. Let's make sure all of our children is up to par. Let's make sure we set aside to make sure they got their little suit on. We got them looking presentable, right there. So just listen out for the date and the announcement that we will be going out. Um, on a outing day. Women, we will have a hair day. So that's the day not too far from the coming. I know all the women won't go because I know how we do, but for those that are going with me, we're going to have a hair day that day. Uh, we are going to the nail salon. Hallelujah. And our nails and our toes done. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. So my team is the women. Uh, my sister is Evangelist Day. Uh, Co-pastor team is the men. His assistant is Elder Jenkins. Amen. So let's make sure. And the reason why I did Elder Jenkins, because Elder Jenkins know I put clothes together. Is, is that not true? He know how to make sure you women and men. He dress women and men. I'm, I'm versatile too, yeah. Elder Jenkins. I can dress the women. I can tell I'm old baby get that that right. Uh, I dress Murphy all the time. Who's the baby get that? They talked about Murphy Soup called the Jimmy Got Soul in the uh, in the uh, installment service. But when he shared, when he when he matched me and shared at the same time, that one man came up there. He said, "I don't care what you say. That that you shy, bro." <laughs> he was like, "His soup was shy." Y'all should have seen us. Um, we had got back. We had went to Apostle uh, Fonzo thing. We came back from Cuba. Uh, make sure we post the um, stuff from Cuba, our videos and uh, services from Cuba. Um, we need Evangelist Day to get back on our social media for our posting. We are going to put her over that um, for our posting for our uh, 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 conferences and stuff. And so. Everybody is going to be getting new jobs. Nobody is going to be left without a job. Just because I ain't call your name and put you in a position, trust me, I got a job in man for you. I just ain't sitting here. Everybody is going to be doing something. Um, China is going to step up and be on the flyers. Um, everybody will be doing new jobs. Amen? So that's just a little church etiquette. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching us by Facebook. All of our Facebook uh, church members. We have Facebook church members. Everybody say hello to our Facebook members. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Praise them. God is good. I'm still on the series of I am not for sale. And that I am bought with a price. Amen. Um, I'm still on that series. So let's get ready to go to the word of God. I do give honor to God, to my husband, um, co-pastor. Come on, put your hands together for Cody Pastor. He does a lot in his ministry. And so we just want to keep all of those encouraged. We thank all of those for your giving. We thank you for fellowshipping with us. 
Uh, we do have some up and coming service and event. Don't forget that our conference, uh, the Save the Day flyer is, is now out April the 18th through the 21st. Um, one of our biggest conference of the year. Um, know that we're going to have an awesome time in the Lord. Somebody say, I'm still standing. Still standing. I don't quit, and I'm still standing. <laughs> I don't quit, and I'm still standing. I just want to let somebody know I'm still standing on His word. I'm still standing on His promises. God is truly, truly a good God. Let's go to the word of God. I'm going to be teaching on today. Um, I got some stuff I wanted to go over. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord. As I decrease, I ask you to increase. And I ask you, Lord God, to word my mouth, Lord, to touch your people uh, like only you can, and to prepare us for the things that's getting ready to come next. And I thank you, Lord, for your many doors that's open and all the ways you have made. And God, I would like to say today that I trust you. I trust you with my life. I trust you with the ministry. I trust you, Lord God, with my loved ones. I trust you all the way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I was saying to Elder Jenkins before we got started that sometimes it's hard to trust people. Uh, mainly because you get hurt. And um, when you get hurt, uh, you really try to, you've been trusting that person. And when people hurt you, it's hard for you to sometimes recover from it. It's not that you don't forgive. It's just that you are afraid to trust them again because trust has been broken. And sometimes when trust has been broken, it's hard for you to um, move forward. And so I wanna tell you today, you need to move forward at all costs. Somebody say, I'm going forward at all costs. So regardless to the fact, if you can't trust people, can you just trust God? So turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I trust God. I trust God with my life. I'm learning to trust people. But I trust God with everything. He can't lie. <laughs> and it's got to happen. So sometimes you get into that place where you feel as though you can't trust people because you've been hurt so many different places. And so I know I got a witness. I know I'm in the 